Brandon was driving his Model Y in Thornhill, Ontario, when there was a big sudden explosion in front of him. A tree fell over some power lines, causing a transformer to explode while tree branches fell all over the road. Brandon says this caused a huge power outage in the neighborhood. It looks to me like his Tesla got juiced with 1.21 gigawatts, and he's in for a heck of a ride. Diego was driving his Model 3 on Highway 281 in San Antonio, Texas, when a blue Audi with a smashed front end rolled onto the highway from an access road. Diego says it scared the heck out of him, and that he had to pump the brakes pretty hard. The Audi driver just kept on going like nothing had happened, with engines smoking and tires screeching. Diego reviewed his Tesla cam footage and noticed that the Audi had already been driving recklessly on the access road before crashing into a car that it was overtaking. Since the Audi driver was clearly responsible for the accident, it's not hard to imagine that he was attempting to flee the scene. Diego contacted the police and gave them his footage. Den had parked his Tesla in a downtown Vancouver parking lot when someone walked by with a dog. They pulled something from their pocket and proceeded to scratch his Model 3. Dan filed a police report and made a claim with his insurance provider. The company immediately agreed to pay for the damage once he'd shown them his sentry mode video. Randy and his girlfriend had stopped at a grocery store. While sitting in their Model X and wrapping up a phone call, a store employee came out to collect shopping carts. Just take a look at these carts. They even have flames. I bet these are the cart demon's very favorite weapons of destruction. Sure enough, when the employee grabbed a cart that had been sitting near the Tesla, she swung it into the passenger side falcon wing door. They immediately jumped out and confronted her. She claimed that she hadn't even hit the car even though they'd witnessed it and had video to prove it. They spoke with the manager and showed them the video and scratches the cart had left on the door panel. The manager told them it would be taken care of, but it would have to go through their corporate office. Randy and his girlfriend are still waiting to hear back from them. This emitter was approaching a toll booth. When he noticed the leftmost lane was filling up, he pulled in behind the trucks. For a moment, he couldn't decide which truck to follow. At the same time, a black van sped past him. The submitter told us he thinks the van driver did this to skip the line. This offended the submitter and he determined not to let the other driver get in front of him after they'd gotten past the booth. The submitter could hear the other driver accelerating at the green light, so he hit the juice pedal to get in front of him. That's when one of the trucks unexpectedly changed lanes, forcing the submitter to slam on the brakes as hard as possible to avoid an accident. This surprised him because, according to him, in Denmark, semi-trucks aren't allowed in that lane. Fortunately, the Tesla's brakes did their job and an accident was avoided. Daniel was driving his Model X on a highway in Nashville, Tennessee when he approached a vehicle that was swerving in and out of its lane. Daniel immediately feared this might be a drunk driver. He was nervous to pass them with the car swerving side to side, but he also felt like he needed to do something. Daniel flashed his headlights in an attempt to get the driver's attention, but they reacted by increasing their speed. Daniel saw emergency lights up ahead, so he backed off, hoping that the police would stop the driver. Unfortunately, it wasn't a police roadblock, but instead a parked truck trailer that had already been involved in an accident. The unstable driver crashed right into the trailer, clipping the canopy off the pickup truck. Daniel didn't stop since first responders were already at the scene. He searched for news about the incident, but he couldn't find any mentions of it. In our experience, that usually means everyone was okay. Malik's car was charging when a guy came out of the casino. He was about to leave when he noticed the Tesla charging and unplugged it. Then he used his car door to damage the Tesla before driving off. What a nice guy. Malik wants to press charges, but he wasn't able to get the guy's license plate on video. The police showed up and confirmed the guy did this with intent, so Malik definitely has a case. If you recognize this upstanding citizen, please send us an email and we'll forward the info to Malik. Victor was driving his Model 3 in Novato, California when a Ford Focus in front of him swerved out of its lane. The Ford driver almost hit a truck before spinning out and finally coming to a stop in front of Victor. Victor had to slam on his brakes to avoid a collision. 
Then the driver just lit up a cigarette while still sitting in front of Victor. The cameras didn't catch this, but Victor says that's why the car sat for a while after spinning out. Victor thinks the reason the driver almost caused a major accident was because he was distracted while trying to light his cigarette. Rami was driving his Model 3 down a main road when someone floored it out of their driveway in reverse. They T-boned the passenger side of the Tesla with their rear end. The offending driver then sped off, making this a hit and run, a felony in the state of Rhode Island. Rami called the police, who promptly went to the house where the car had been parked. The guy living there said it had been his ex-girlfriend driving the car. The cops called and ordered her to return to the scene of the accident. When she arrived, she was yelling and screaming at the cops, claiming she wasn't the one who'd hit Rami's car. Rami told her his Tesla had recorded the entire incident, including when she'd driven off. She ended up getting arrested for obstructing a police investigation, resisting arrest, and, of course, felony hit and run. After reviewing the police report and the Tesla camp footage, her insurance provider accepted 100% liability for the accident and agreed to pay for the damage. The total repair cost came to 12,000 US dollars. Peter was driving his Model 3 in the carpool lane at the speed limit when the rider of a BMW R90 passed him dangerously close. The rider proceeded to tell him he thinks Teslas are number one before doing some strange sort of chicken dance. We get a lot of flack for misidentifying vehicles, but Wham Bam actually races these bikes. BMW released this bike as a tribute model after building motorcycles for 90 years, hence the name R90. It was designed by a Swedish guy, and it was BMW's last air-cooled boxer twin-engine bike. It's just a shame it isn't electric. Peter actually sent us another video, and this one is pretty disturbing. He found himself behind a black Model 3 sporting a Honda emblem. What's going on? Is this some sort of attempt to repel Honda bumps? Tyler was on his way home from the gym in Sacramento when he spotted a large plume of smoke in the distance. He had a little free time, so he decided to check it out. He pulled onto a dirt road where other drivers had also stopped to watch the huge blaze. It was a lot bigger than he'd originally thought. Tyler heard a few small explosions in the distance and assumed they were tires blowing up. The news reported that it was a brush fire that had spread into a junkyard where numerous vehicles had ignited. Tyler hopes everyone was safe, and he praises the firefighters and anyone else involved for their service in extinguishing the inferno. This helicopter action is just insane! Tyler asked us to give a shout out to his friends Ronald and Samantha who love watching Wham Bam videos with him. Hey there everybody! Matthew was driving his Model Y in Galveston, Texas when an SUV exiting a parking lot didn't check for oncoming traffic and hit a Jeep. Alex was driving his Model 3 on an Australian highway when the drivers of a BMW and a Ford pickup truck were having some sort of argument in front of him. Both vehicles stopped in the left lane and the driver of the Ford decided to get out to abuse the BMW driver. The Tesla Model 3, which had autopilot engaged at the time, dodged the driver's open door. It must have checked the other lane before avoiding the hazard. Alex pulled over to check for damage, but there wasn't any. He also says he can see why Teslas have such a great safety rating. James and Julian had parked their Model 3 on the street in Brooklyn. They hadn't been away for two minutes before they got a sentry mode notification that the alarm had been triggered. After rushing back to the car, they found that it and another vehicle in front of theirs had been hit. A car had veered left for no apparent reason and hit the Tesla before bumping into the other car. Fortunately, the plate number was visible on the sentry mode video and a police report was filed right away. They also filed an insurance claim, which is still pending. Will was driving his Chrysler 300 in San Jose, California, when he noticed a gold Toyota pickup cutting people off on the highway. The Toyota driver appeared to target the red Model 3 in front of Will. They sped to get in front of it before brake checking the Tesla. Will had to swerve left onto the shoulder to avoid crashing into the Tesla. Then he picked up speed and cut off the pickup himself. Payback. As always, don't forget to watch Dashcam Stories for more action like this. A new episode is uploaded every Friday on the Wham Bam Dashcam channel. 
Calvin was driving home to Los Angeles from a weekend trip in Las Vegas when the driver of a lowered Chevy Silverado locked up their brakes. They had to swerve onto the gravel shoulder to avoid rear-ending a GMC terrain. Calvin sent us one more video. This time he was parked in front of a liquor store in Los Angeles and he confesses it wasn't the best idea to park there. He was about to leave when a drunk man stole some beer from the store before stumbling away, nearly walking into a Lexus RX pulling into park. The store owner ran after the guy, but he eventually gave up. Whatever was stolen probably wasn't very valuable. Calvin called the police and sent them a copy of his Tesla cam video. Dr. Scott was charging his Model 3 using the destination charger at his work in Las Vegas. Suddenly, he got an alert on his phone that charging had stopped. A girl had walked up to his car and tried to open the doors before unplugging his car. The sentry mode video showed security arriving and escorting her away. A moment later, Dr. Scott got another notification. Charging had started again. The girl had escaped security, returned to his car, and plugged it back in. Yeah, that's one evil looking Honda right there. Roll the jingle. Jump in. Honda bumped. Alex was patiently waiting in the in and out drive through line when a Honda bumped right yeah, into him. Yeah, yeah, Honda Ali was driving his Model 3 on the highway in Melbourne, Australia. Traffic suddenly slowed down and a Toyota one car behind them didn't notice in time and quickly switched lanes. The car behind the Toyota wasn't as fast and rear-ended the car directly behind Ali. Isaac was driving on the highway. While he was passing a car towing a trailer, the tow bar broke. Luckily and incredibly, the trailer didn't hit any other vehicles. We know that lane splitting with motorcycles is legal in California, but we never thought this also applied to cars. The driver of a Mercedes G-Wagon decided to go rogue and drive between two lanes to cut through traffic. James was driving his Model 3 eastbound on the Trans-Canada Highway when he witnessed one of the most dangerous overtakes we've ever seen on this channel. An impatient trucker didn't have enough room to pass a travel trailer and almost caused a head-on collision with another truck. Wow, that was just beyond dumb. Speaking of dumb moves, Ben witnessed this one while driving in Hampshire, England. A tractor pulled out onto the road, nearly hitting the car in front of Ben. Ben says he just overtook the tractor since he didn't know what he was doing. Speaking of people who have no idea what they're doing, over 75% of our viewers aren't subscribed. What are you doing? Don't be dumb, subscribe.